Well, as the heat continues to rise, so do the cravings for crawfish. Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser was in Burbridge today for the seventh annual pardoning of a crawfish. Our Megan Glover was there. To hereby pardon and declare Furman free to live his life out here in the Louisiana swamps. Furman the crawfish has been granted freedom from a boiling pot, but represents more than a Cajun craving. The fact that we're aggressive, the fact that we have something to offer, not only Acadiana, not only St. Martin Parish, not only the city of Broad Ridge, not only the state of Louisiana, but all of the United States. Furman was named in honor of Furman Bro, who built the first footbridge across the Bayou Teche, eventually becoming Bro's Bridge. 30 years later, the city and name was founded by his daughter-in-law, Scholastic Bro. Today's partnering held in none other than the crawfish capital was to celebrate the height of the season, but also the increase of economic and tourism impact. It just expands on the value it is to Louisiana and to this region of the state where it's world famous. Louisiana produces about 150 million pounds every year, that impact going well beyond the boot borders. The total pounds of crawfish produced is 11,700,000 right here in St. Martin Parish. The gross farm value of that industry is $16,731,000. For McKenna Rushing, representing Bogalusa, she says the pardoning was a new experience. It was a very good opportunity. I was really appreciative of the invite, and I didn't really expect what it was. I wasn't really sure of what we'd be doing, but I'm really happy that I was able to come here and see everything happen. And next up for the city of Brobridge, the biggest crawfish festival in the state. Others try to imitate, others try to duplicate, but residents say that the best is here in St. Martin Parish. Festivities will take off the first weekend in May. In Brobridge, Megan Glover, KTC TV3.